So Gyros. first off, you know, um, Sega has been uh, we, uh, the 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 color the whole colors ultimate thing, and you know the, all the glitches that have been going on. It's like uh, mm. Sega's been listening yeah. to all that feedback, and they finally put out their first patch. Uh, they they really, fixed huh? the uh, the quote unquote rainbow glitch. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah, so yeah, I, I I knew it wouldn't be long until a patch came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like mm. as rare as it mid- was. Still, hold on. You mean the rainbow glitch for the music or rainbow glitch for the, the model? The graphics. The graphics. Oh, the graphics. Yeah, the graphics. Yeah, the graphics. Uh, graphics yeah, yeah, we. I think a lot of us saw it come, especially like when we touched on it last show. We were like, uh, some people were saying there's glitches already, and they just kept on coming, and they just kept on coming. They just would not stop. One thing so I guess nice to see that they are patching everything. Well, one thing I, I well, one thing I give credit for for Sega is that at least Sega and everyone on Sonic Team listens to fan outcry. I mean, look at the Sonic movie for example. They posted the original <laughs> design, and fans were fans were distraught. They were typing, "We don't like the movie design. Change it, change it now." That's what they did. <laughs> And apparently it made the movie apparently. It made that a half of a difference. Yes, that was monstrosity. <laughs> I am glad that Sega did make the distinction between, like, we know what we're looking at. We know that some people are posting ones that are bogus, and, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. So it's we're really listening to the mean. actual people. I love that they made that distinction. I really do. Oh, yeah. 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 It's the song is, it's yeah. The song is right. song, basically. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I will say, some of the, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, like, some of the bogus ones actually ended up, you know, being reconfirmed as, like, glitches that actually could happen in the base game and it wasn't just uh, emulation. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I noticed that most of those, for some reason, were on the PS5 version. That was apparently the one that had the highest chance. I had the highest chance. Even then, uh, whenever I would look at, like, people's clips, I rarely saw people were having those problems on the Switch. It was always, this is what happened on my PS5, PS5, and I'm like, whoa, hey. I I will say... I, I will I say, ask, ask, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I will say, I did, I did run into uh, a glitch on the Xbox One. It was uh, during Starlight Carnival Act Two, uh, when you're trying to run around the uh, the road that forms, and uh, it does a loop de loop. For some reason, Sonic got stuck in the loop de loop, and he was he was in a falling position, and because the the road was like formed and like half formed, it's like he was trapped in the loop itself, trying to fall. And it's like he couldn't move at all. And me trying to move the analog stick, it just um, it just moved, it turned him in place. It didn't actually let him yeah. move forward or anything like that. And mm. finally, I don't know what happened, but he eventually got loose. But instead of uh, you know uh, just uh, running off down the road, he actually fell off the road and just started falling to his doom. And then mm. when I respawned, it's like he just he just uh, fell right through the floor. Yikes. Yeah, that's oh, one of guys. them that I did wow. see where he gets caught just in an endless loop. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that one on Twitter. I mean, I've never encountered like any glitches because I, I also have the Xbox One version. Um, but there are a few glitches where at some point the music doesn't play out at some point during the level, yeah. and sometimes the music doesn't play out when you finish a when you finish the level, which is, I mean, guys, if you like. It, if you're gonna listen to the music, like, if you want to have music, at least have it play. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just, it's just, it's just kind of interesting how everything just kind of unfolded in the first place because, like, yeah. if you're, if you've mm-hmm. scoured on Twitter a little bit, uh, you can also find out that uh, Blind Squirrel, the you know the publisher that was responsible behind uh, the most One of thing, the masters, I think they were the, I think Blind Squirrel Games were, were was the developers, I think. Yeah, they were. They had but, the... Rings, like, yeah. Apparently, like a lot of people, like on Twitter, uncovered that uh, Blind Squirrel is definitely uh, a a big factor of the issues, and not just Sega as well. Between you know previous reviews of previous employees about it being not a great work environment, about them possibly setting the the deadline of the game themselves, not Sega, among Yikes. other things, and it's just I. Really I did ridiculous. a bit of research on Blind Squirrel Games when I was doing the review. Apparently, they worked on Bioshock the Collection, Mass Effect oh, yeah. Legacy Collection, and the Switch port of WWE 2018. And I have not... I may be familiar with some of them, but I've never played any of them. 
I was gonna say, I've played Which pretty much all play? of those. All of them. Like, every single one. I've done ports before, but the thing is, I don't think Sega really looked at the ports that they did, but rather they looked at the review scores, and tend to be very high. So I think they were very much blinded by the review scores and just went, you know what, this company, they're fine, let them handle it without really giving it too much thought. So that's probably why they're, you know, putting so much work into fixing the game themselves. I feel like yeah. what they should have done was that they shouldn't have... What, what, what they should have done was not get any more game developers. Just stick with Sega and Sonic Team because it worked before when it, did, when it did the original version. If you want to do the ultimate version, just stick with the original team and just stick with it. You don't need any more game developers to help fix your game app. Because at some point, they don't know about the original game. They might end up get, making it worse. Mm. I play a little bit of Devil's Advocate with uh, Blind Squirrel because, like I said, all of, all of those ports, like the Bioshock Collection, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, I've played them and they play fine. Yeah, they play pretty much. The only one that is kind of sticky, they did make a PC port of a game called Sunset Overdrive, and that was kind of <laughs> sticky. That was kind of sticky, right. but uh, other than that... Yeah. They worked pretty well for me, at least. Now, I, I will say, I think one of the missed opportunities with uh, Ultimate was that they didn't add the elements from uh, the DS the uh, the DS version of uh, Sonic Colors, which they could have easily mm -hmm. done. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. In, in fact... Did we, uh, but did we expect they were going to do it, though? Did, did we really think they were going to do that? It would have been nice if they did though, because I never played the uh, I never played the DS version, and the fact that the DS version has an extra actual boss type level instead of just you know terminal velocity, it's like they have an yeah. actual actual end boss, like you know reminiscent of like you know Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two, and all that. Uh, that mm -hmm. would have been fun. Be on the the I, I guess it was fight the Mother Nega West or whatever. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. like, like, <laughs> the ultimate creation of Dr. Eggman's combined um, wisp energy power, basically. I mean, at least it follows the same story as the original game, so that's all fine. Um, yeah, Sonic Force. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like nowadays they're probably, like, all the original games that were released, like, years ago, they're, they're getting re remade nowadays. Like, recently, I think the last game that was remade, if for what I recall, I think this battle for became bottom because because the the, the remastered version was re, was the rehydrate version for modern consoles, and they did add a couple of things like online multiplayer and they inserted a few things that was not present from the original game. But Sonic Cards Ultimate, it's literally just the same game with no add. Actually, wait, I wait, 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 hold on, I take that back. The only thing they added was at was like changing the look of Sonic and of course the um, the icon, basically. That's the only thing they um, they added for the uh, for the remake. It would have been nice to add like more features into the game, like in game in terms of gameplay, like or online multiplayer. Because and the game land the missions, is multiplayer. the story missions from DS would have been nice too. Exactly, like it. Like, just combine the console version and the DS version into one. I mean, that would have made it ultimate. I mean, the ultimate yeah. version. The ultimate that, that, would be, mm -hmm. that, that, that would make an ultimate version. Combine both into one. Like Super Mario 64. Um, for Super Mario, if, you did, if you did an ultimate version of Super Mario 64, just combine the original 64 version and the DS version. It, it would have been much better. Okay then, um, but yeah, um, now that the patches are out, um, you know, we'll I, we'll probably be seeing more patches in the future. So, uh, we'll we'll see where it goes from there, and hopefully, some of these other stuff will be fixed. Uh, yeah, we just gotta remember that you know, Sonic's always had a rough transition to three D. You know, it just it's been so long since we've had a good game. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> just just read the the reviewers know what's up. Yeah. In terms of. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on to our next topic, uh, Sonic Colors. Uh, it, the soundtrack is now available on uh, vinyl, uh, available to pre-order. Uh, oh boy! Yeah, I am Eight Bit has uh, made made them available on on vinyl. You can pre-order them. Uh, they did have the like a rainbow uh, limited edition rainbow, but that's already sold out, and it's you know not even due to release. Wow! wow. So, yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, uh, but yeah. but they got technical. your your standard versions, which comes in array of colors. Which I I think it's random which color you get. I don't know. I I haven't had a chance to really check and see uh, which mm-hmm. one you get. Mm, I see. Yeah. If, whether you can choose or so... whether it's random. But uh, it's so cool that we're getting more vinyl. Yes, I I actually want I actually want these vinyl, but I need to find you know I need to wait till I actually have some money before I pre order. I thought it. that vinyl is coming back after all these years. Like what's going I on? Know. With- oh, yeah. what's I know. Happened- that. <laughs> what has happened to CDs nowadays? Do people use CDs anymore? I heard not- CDs are no longer being produced either. I- Mm-hmm. I think it's just something nice about having like this big collector thing, and you know, if you do have a vinyl player, I know, I guess some people claim. Yeah, that I, th- I think that's the, the main vinyl. reason why. Like even the Sonic Mania soundtrack that got released on vinyl too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah yeah that yeah. Yeah, that girl, that girl, that got a vinyl release. I feel like nowadays, like vinyl was great back in like in the seventies or eighties, stuff like that, and then it died down. And now, basically, vinyl has come back from the dead, pretty much. Just like Abba's career. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really curious as to how that's gonna go. I really am. No, when 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 Abba's new album comes out in November, I I said if they put out a vinyl version, I'm just gonna get the vinyl version because it's Abba. It's like you know. Mama Mia, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> as long as that's nothing to do with that movie, we're okay. Or just so you know, the movie was based on the mu- on the hit Broadway musical. Just so I you know. know. That makes and sense. I know I the Broadway say, musical. Unfortunately, I was gonna say, unfortunately, the Broadway musical is ten times better in my opinion. <laughs> that is yeah. true. That is true. Because they can act. <laughs> yes. And now it's true. And Mar- yeah, I think Meryl Streep can sing because she did Into the Woods. I think the only person I'm yeah. pretty sure who could not sing, or, could not sing or do very well in the movie, the guy who played James Bond, Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was freaking James Bond. It's like, for crying out loud. It's like just stick to just stick to 007, buddy. You're good at that. Let's <laughs> have Daniel Craig. He at least tried it. I'll give him credit. He tried it. That is true. That is true. He, he, he did try it. Least. I most fondly remember Pierce Brosnan uh, from uh, Dante's Peak, really. But that's because I'm a big sucker for disaster movies. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah, a I'm huge sucker for disaster <laughs> movies. I went through one of those Oh, phases. that's a blast on the path. <laughs> yeah, disaster movies. What are your thoughts on Airplane? That's a great disaster oh, movie. I've wonderful. only seen Airplane <laughs> once. It's been a long, 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 long ass so time, wonderful. so I couldn't Airplane remember. Airplane is how... a fantastic movie. No, I, no I, I'm not saying it isn't. Yeah. I'm just saying I haven't I only seen it yeah, once, and I haven't recall. seen it in a long time. Oh, man. Yeah. It has been a minute since I've seen it, too. But man, was it wonderful. <laughs> yeah. It was wonderful. <laughs> Basically... For those who don't know, Airplane is based on an old movie called Zero Hour, which I've also seen. It's basically, it plays the same thing, but it's basically just adding in jokes. Like yeah. Every, like, Go out every, and watch it. Oh, you mean a, 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 like a parody. It's like a parody. Yeah. That's For those who haven't seen it, go and no. watch Airplane. You'll have a good time. I yeah. That's, that's an example of parody done right. <laughs> But yeah, I I will watch any type of almost almost any type of disaster movie. I've seen like Twister, uh, Category. I even seen the the TV uh, the t- the TV uh, miniseries stuff like Category Five, Category Six, yeah. uh, Ten Point Five. I think it was called uh, yeah. the, those uh, those silly TV uh, TV miniseries stuff. Didn't didn't Twister, Twister not do yeah, very well Twister in the theaters? I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I, I, I like Twister. Like we're, all, we're, we're all happy. Yeah. yeah. Twister was pretty good, though. I liked Twister a lot. Yeah. Into the Storm. Um, uh, oh, shoot. Armageddon. Deep oh, Impact. Oh, really good. Yes. Another death. Another death yeah. movie like that. I'm the only person that lived, like, the house I had as a kid, I was the only person that actually liked Armageddon. Everybody else looked at me funny every time I liked it. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good, man. It is true. It is. I like it. <laughs> I ain't subjected to myself to the 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 absolute silliness that was Sharknado. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, it's, glorious. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, gosh. Mm. How many 
Shark Nammer Raid had there been? <laughs> Um, uh, there's too many, and I think by the third one, they realized they absolutely realized how silly they were and just played up the silliness to the nth degree. I kind of like that, though. The, I really do like when they handed it up like that. Oh. I literally jumped the shark. Uh. <laughs> Jump the shark! Yeah, I remember that. It's like the that. it's like the first the first movie they were they were taking themselves a little more too seriously than the second mm -hmm. one. They lightened up a little bit, and then by the third one, they just you know just went all in on the silliness. It's almost like scary movie. Yes. It's like they realized. Yeah, totally this... <laughs> I mean, there's like other like bad movies too. Like uh, I'm thinking like another small one was like what uh, Birdemic. Oh, I, heard I heard that was bad. <laughs> it's Birdemic. I felt more powerful for having survived Birdemic. I felt powerful for having survived. You've that. seen Birdemic? I've watched the whole thing. Oh my oh, god! Because, because I love stuff. Oh like wow! That. I, just... I love watching notoriously bad movies. <laughs> okay, I, I think we jumped this way off the track yeah, here. Yeah. We're going to turn this into another three-hour marathon if we're not careful. <laughs> I would like to try to keep this under two if possible. Sonic Mountain movies later. <laughs> yes. We're talking about the Sonic Mountain, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are we talking about again? <laughs> We were talking about vinyl, and then we end up with disaster movie. Yes. Oh, far cry. Those are two different ballparks. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Okay, moving on to our next topic before moving we get too to late. The next topic. Um, Zavi uh, has some Sonic Colors merchandise available in their store. Uh, I saw that. Yes. I, I saw. Basically, it's just T-shirts and whatnot. They look amazing. They do look amazing. Yeah. It's like I want. Uh, I saw. I saw the uh, the phone cover. I really want the phone cover. However, problem. I have an a. I have a so Samsung A fifty. Uh not oh, no. not a mainstream uh, oh, Galaxy. No. Yeah. I have a Galaxy A fifty, but not a mainstream Galaxy. So, uh, I tried looking wow. up to see if any of the mainstream uh, Galaxy covers would fit an A fifty, and apparently the answer is no. So my I only gripe about it is that it, it only comes in blue and white. It doesn't come in, a, in any other colors. Like I'd like to, I'd like to have a Sonic Colors Ultimate shirt that come that comes in red. That would be nice. Yeah. But yeah, I really wanted that phone cover, but the phone cover is no good good to me, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll work on my phone. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So well, I will, I, I will go cry in a corner, right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think mine would be because mine is a, a, a Galaxy 10e, S10e, and so yeah, it, mine is also a model that is hard to find for like a, a case. Like I'm pretty lucky to actually find a case for this. And um, I yeah. have um, I have an iPhone 11, so I don't know if that works or not. They yeah, actually have iPhone. The uh, they they do have iPhone uh, covers. So oh, yeah, it's boy. iPhone and uh, I'm ne I am now officially tempted. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you do get it, you have to show it on the show. Yeah, you have to. You gotta do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. Next time, if we ever get merchandise, we're showing it up next show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And if somebody who's in charge of merchandising would actually listen, please make stuff, make covers for something other than the mainstream uh, phones, because uh, <laughs> a lot of us can't even afford the mainstream phones. That's true. Yeah. I guess it's mm -hmm. just hard because like a lot of people like do buy those phones, and like the more oh, yeah. the more devices they have to support, the more money it costs for like production and shipping and everything. Yeah. I just yeah, I just yeah, wish yeah. I just wish that, that even the uh, the off brand like not the off brand but the off model stuff would be at least be within the same standards as the main model that they're based from. Yeah. Yeah, it's completely understandable. Yep. So. Yeah. So cool stuff from Zavi. Um, I'm I you know more stuff that I wish I could get. Same. But you know, poor people gotta sit and cry. Some poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the the second half of the prequel comic for Sonic Colors Ultimate has been released oh on Twitter. Uh, mm -hmm. It was only two pages. Uh, so the first half was three pages. The other half was two pages. And like, why? And I'm thinking also, they should have just released and the entire five pages. will have one page. 
they, they should have just released all five pages at once. So like, it's not that. I mean, yeah, it was kind of weird. It's almost, they did two I mean, in a way, it. it's it almost. I feel like at some point there's gonna be. It's almost like um, Song Calls Rise of the Wisp. They split it into two parts and they combine it into one. Same thing with the um, ultimate com. Ult- the same thing with the ultimate prequel comic. They're probably gonna combine them into two into one. That's probably gonna happen. I don't know. Who knows? Honestly, you probably just like to like thr- to just continue drumming up the hype and having something to do that because if they just release probably. it on like, like less time to do that. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, it's you know, it it's nothing really to write home about as far as the pre uh pre the pre, the prequel comic is concerned. It's pretty much nice. exactly what you expect would happen before. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Uh, Apple software decides it wants to pop up a uh, uh, <laughs> alert uh, update thing on me yeah. right in the middle don't. of the show. I, at this point, no. don't. There'll do be another one this time. I, do I, it later. I don't. Do it. I don't ever <laughs> do it later. We're in the middle of a show here. Yes. It's like no, leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> but man, Apple, Apple just loves the, I'm yeah. in the middle of something. I, I hate that it ra- just randomly pops up while I'm in the middle of something. It's like I'd be in the middle of the game, yeah. and all of a sudden my game starts acting funny. I'm like, uh, crap! Hello? And next thing I know, Apple update. No, oh, no. go so away! Of them, like, three antiviruses pops up. I like, know how you want update. You want update? It's like. Get away from me! <laughs> like stop popping. It just sits there until you close it. It's like I'm in the middle of something and I can't click off of my game. It's like uh. you, you, you didn't have the problem if you just updated sooner. I mean, I mean, it's like every other day. I feel lazy. I though, every day. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, so yeah, that that's that. So 